to go to CPA, we have to click on the uh, DX operational intelligence. So uh, most common issues that the customers face is like when they click on the capacity analytics and they go to the configure screen. So uh, this screen is used for configuring a list of services and the metrics associated with it, for which the projection needs to be generated and displayed in the capacity analytics and the DS dashboard page. So uh, a customer can create a service using the service analytics page and once the service is created that service will be listed over here so what they can do is they can select that particular service here and they can go next so what this shows is like the list of all these uh, metrics that is available for the services that was selected uh, in the previous page so um, what issues customer face in this page like sometimes this page list doesn't list any metrics at all so uh, this page will show no data. So there could be numerous reasons for this particular, in like why it is not displaying the data. So I will go step by step. So the first thing is like, there could be chances there are no active devices in them. So normally in task, a device will be active only for 24 hours. That is a default value. So if the device is not pushing any metrics in the last 24 hours, it will be deactivated from task. So how to check whether the service has any active groups or uh, active devices or not. So first approach, uh, I'll go from the UI. So let me take automation app. So clicking on this topology screen. So this shows like the service contains three elements. So to see a detailed view, we can click on this and we can expand it. So it shows me what are the three devices that is present. Okay, so this step is clear. What could be the second thing? Second thing could be like the metrics are actively flowing from devices that belongs to the enabled services. So uh, the next thing is like, if the metrics are not flowing in a regular interval, it gets aspired from the NAS store. So uh, we need to check whether we are getting the matrices actively for that particular device or not. So how can we check it? So Okay, so this was from the UI part um, to see the list of devices from the NAS, we can use the task query. So here I can give the service name and I can click send. So this gives me the list of devices. So we can see like we have three devices as shown in the UI. So this part is clear. So let's see whether the metrics are actively flowing for the device or not. So how can we check this from the UI and from query? So let me go to the UI part first. So we, from the UI, we can check it from performance analytics. So here I can go. If I have my MPT name with me, then I can use it for searching. What else, what else? We have other things you can use it as So if, uh, if in case we are expecting like um, memory in use percent, so we are expecting that to be displayed in the CPA config page, but we are not able to see it. So we can come here and we can check when was the metric series pushed or is the metric displaying on it. So if the metric is available pushed in last 24 hours, then it should be available in the CPA metric page. If it is not pushed in last 24 hours, if it is as per, then we will not be able to see in the config page. So this is through the UI. And let me switch back to the query. So here I can query using the first name as shown in the performance entries. I can click it. So here I will get the list of um, metrics that are, that are collected for the device. So we can search for the particular metric name, whether it is present or not in the response. If it is present, then it will be displayed in the UI. So uh, the third part, the third part is like uh, CPA only supports numeric metrics. Non-numeric metrics will not be shown in the CPA config page. We can use the same query 
and here we can see the op as numeric. So this will list only the numeric matrix. So what we can do is like we can deselect this. And then we can run the same query and we can see whether the metric they are mentioning is getting the response or not. If it is getting the response and if we are not getting it when we put the numeric condition, then we can say they are pushing in a string value. So they need to uh, configure that in a connector to make it a numeric value. And the fourth issue that could be is like CPM only works with devices that has an external ID. So in case if you don't want to have an external ID and still you need to see uh, Projection, but for CPA to work, a device and a metric should have an external ID associated with it. Let me show you what does that mean. So, if you see here, I have a metric, this metric, but this doesn't have an uh, external ID. If I go here, the bottom. So here you can see these metrics are having external IDs. So this metrics will be displayed in CPA, but in the other metrics I showed, which it doesn't have an external ID, that will not be displayed in CP because we use the external ID to connect between TAS and the NAS. So for CP to work, we need the external ID. So that are the four uh, reasons why the, you will not be able to see any metrics in the uh, configuration page. Now, if you have, if you are seeing a metric and if you are enabling it. And after saving it, if you're not able to see it, uh, at the back end, a projection job will be generated, triggered, and the projections will be created for all the list of devices and for the metrics for which you have enabled it. Now, there could be chances like you're not seeing any uh, projection here. So, we go to the next slide. So, what could be the reasons for that? Okay. The first reason is like confirm whether the metric is enabled in the config page for which uh, you are looking. Okay, so to verify that you can go to the configure page. And this means uh, th this particular metric is enabled. So you can confirm whether that uh, particular metric in question is enabled or not from here. The second reason could be in case uh, of non linked metrics, the metric unit should be percentage. So this is for uh, not showing in the CPA landing page. So uh, for a metric to be displayed in the, for a question to be displayed in the CPA landing page, the metric unit should be percentage. So here you can see the metric unit as percentage and there are metrics without any units or it can have some other units also. So for the metrics which doesn't have any unit or non-PCT unit, we can see that in the dashboard page. But for, to be displayed in the CPA, that should be have a that should be a percentage unit. In case if we don't have a percentage metric and still you want to see that uh, metric in CPA landing page, what you can do is you can enable link to metrics. So it should be a link to non PCD metrics. So I can link two metrics and here I can give the one as an uh, utilization metric and one as a capacity metric. So here I have mentioned that memory in use is a capacity metric and in added percent is a utilization metric. So I can link these two metrics together. Now what happens is at the back end, uh, CPU will try to calculate a percentage value using this total value and a capacity value. So after you save it, if you're not able to see that particular metric projection for that particular device, so the possible reason could be the metric capacity metric is not is not being collected or is uh, having a zero value. So most of the time we see like uh, just for a demo purpose, uh, customers select an, some random uh, metric and they mention it as a capacity metric. But that that will not be a proper capacity metric, and it might be having a zero value. So since we can't divide create a percentage out of a zero, so we don't show that in the CPA landing page. 